Hi, so in this video, we're mainly going to look at how to create a Pioneer account. I've been getting a lot of comments about Pioneer. A lot of people are having challenges with that. So I decided to create a step-by-step -step video mm -hmm. on how you can create a Pioneer account. I'm mainly focusing on using the smartphone and then also using the mobile app to create this particular account. So the first thing to do is to come to the App Store or Play Store, depending on what device you use, and then you search for Pioneer right you will see the pioneer app here and then you download it over here i've already downloaded it so i'm just going to tap on open all right now if you open the app you're going to have this okay it's going to ask you to sign in or register okay you see the register button right at the bottom if it's not the same by the time you download the app or whatever device you use it's a bit different you can locate the register button okay look for it is register so you tap on register and then it takes you to this session it asks you um if you own or represent a registered company or you're a freelancer or you're running your own business in this case if your business is not registered you choose the second one if your business is registered and you can prove that your business is registered by showing them your registration certificates and stuff like that you can choose the first one but just to minimize the stress that comes with verification i'm just going to choose i'm an individual running my own business my business isn't registered so you click on that tap on next then you choose your country over here i'm in ghana so Ghana is already selected, but let me just search that. Okay, Ghana, we tap on next. Then it says, how would you describe your business? If you're an online seller, if you're a small, medium-sized business, or if you're a freelancer, agency, or service provider. So I am a freelancer, I provide service, so ideally I'm going to choose that. Then tap on next. Then it says, how would you like to use pioneer so it's in twofold the first one is to get paid by clients or freelance marketplaces worldwide that's like fiverr upwork and all of these platforms okay and then the second one is if you want to pay contractors and remote employees then you can use this particular platform as well so you are the one receiving money so you're going to choose the first one you're not the one paying people so i'm just going to tap on the first one tap on next over here Okay, it says, great. Now let's get you set up with Pioneer. Okay, now this is the most important part. You tap on OK and it's going to redirect you to this particular step-by-step -step guide, you know. So this process, I'm not going to go through all of them with you because I think is a little bit easier to understand. All right, so it says, is your business registered with any government or business licensing or tax authority. So if you're in Ghana, of course, your personal tax is connected to your personal or sole proprietorship, you know, company. And if you don't have a sole proprietorship company, your tax is still yourself, right? So you have your TIN number, your Ghana card number, that is your um, your tax identification number. If you are in Nigeria or anywhere across Africa or in the world, of course, you can, you know, figure out what your tax identification is. But then over here, you just choose no my business isn't registered because that's what it shows earlier then you put in your first name okay you put in your first name then you put in your last name then over here you put your email so you choose your date of birth then you tap on next okay so now I'm going to mention what is really important when it comes to creating, you know, a pioneer account. So over here, you have to choose your country and then streets and number. Now, this street and number, right, your residential address, including full street name and number and other address details, post office boxes, care of addresses and public addresses are not allowed. You need to pay attention to this part. Whatever you put in here as your address, it has to be the same address on either your utility bill, bank statements, or any document you can use to verify your account later. If you can't verify this address with any document, don't use it. So whatever address you are inputting here should be the same address you have on your bank statement. I'm repeating this again. You have to have this same address on your bank statement or any document you are going to use to verify your Pioneer account. Because if it's not the same, they are not going to verify it. No matter what you do, they won't verify it. Okay, so over here, you just put in your address, right? You put in your address, and then you put in your city, then you put in your postal or zip code, 
this let me just use it for one then you put in your phone number okay so i'm not going to proceed with this next step because this basically means that i've created a new pioneer account and i don't intend to create another one so i'm just going to stop at this point but if you put in a real phone number if you put in you know an active phone number over here right now they will send a code to verify it if you verify it you can go to the next step and finish the process but i wanted to highlight it to show you the most important part of the creation process which is the address right so where it says address where is the street and number whatever address you input there should be your exact address you have on your bank statement or your utility bill or any document that you can use to verify your account okay so pay attention to that don't use anything you know else and then you bring a document that has a different address on it even if the spelling is different they are still not going to verify it so try as much as possible to keep your address consistent so that you can use your document to verify and then get your account approved that is the simplest way to create a pioneer account so from this stage you just go through another step and then you just have your account verified and then you can go into the next stage which is verifying your address with your bank statement or your utility bill and after doing that it's just going to take about maybe 24 48 hours and pioneer is going to come and verify your account for you thank you for watching this video up to this point my name is alfred of course if this serves any value for you kindly like this video and of course if you are new here subscribe to this channel i'll see you in another video i'm out